Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking a simpler version of Buddha's delight or Fa Cai Su Cai. So let's start cooking. Let's put the dish together. I'm using a non-stick wok. This is a 32cm wok from Shogun by La Gome. It's part of the Midori series. Heat the wok up using medium heat. Put in a good amount of oil. Swirl the oil around. You add in 8 pieces of dried mushroom, which I've rehydrated. These are the small ones. You can use a bigger one, no problem. Put it in. We need to fry this until they are fragrant first. Flavor up the oil. This will take about 2 minutes or so. Now in case you are wondering why I'm not using garlic for this dish, um, I'm making a pure vegetarian dish, which means that garlic cannot be used. Once you can smell the beautiful fragrance coming out from the mushroom, you push it aside. You add in one piece of fermented red tofu plus one tablespoon of the sauce. Put it in. This will give this dish a very nice creamy umami taste. Right. Now we add in 160 milliliters of water. Mix them up. Make sure you dissolve the fermented tofu. Now we add in 50 grams of carrots. Put it in. 8 grams of black fungus. These are the dried black fungus which I've rehydrated. 8 grams is good enough. Put it in. Give it a good stir. Now we add in our cabbage. 300 grams of cabbage. Beijing cabbage, just add them in. Mix them up. Add in two tablespoons of light soya sauce. This dish is normally enjoyed on the first and fifteenth day of the lunar month. We call it Tu Yi Su for Buddhists. And on those days for Buddhists, it's always a vegetarian day for them. Put the lid on and we'll let this steam for approximately three minutes. I'll see you back in a while. Three minutes is up, let's have a look. Yes, this is how we want it to be. Give it a nice stir first. Now we add in our fried binker skin. This is 40 grams of it. Put it all in. Give it a stir first. Let it absorb the beautiful sauce. Next, we'll add in our mung bean vermicelli or glass noodle. 40 grams, rehydrated. Put it in. They have contact with the sauce. This is going to be such a delicious dish. Now we add in our peas, 30 grams of this, put it in. As well as 10 grams of black moss, which I've rehydrated, put it in. We add in 1 teaspoon of sugar. Spread out the black moss. Make sure you mix them up well together. All the sauce has been beautifully absorbed by the bean curd skin as well as the vermicelli. This is going to be so beautiful. Finally, we'll put in one tablespoon of sesame oil. Mix them up well. And now it's time for our lunch. Now the dish is done, let's have a taste. <sighs> Smells really good. Mm. The umami taste of the fermented bean curd plus the sweetness of the vegetables, this is indeed a very good dish. Normally we have this dish on the first day of Chinese New Year and I hope you use this recipe to have this too. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and now it's your turn to cook. See you, bye bye and happy new year. Mmm, very good.